Hey, Assalamualaikum. My name is Dr. Sabi Ahmed. I am a board certified doctor. I am currently working as a surgeon in uh, uh, Pakistan. I consider it my moral and ethical duty to educate uh, people about coronavirus. And uh, this is a short presentation about coronavirus. And uh, I want you people to listen to this uh, presentation. And I am sure at the end of this video, you people will be a lot, will feel a lot better and know a lot more about this deadly virus. So, what are we going to discuss? What is a virus? This may seem to be a simple concept. But believe me, a virus is a very tricky thing. Then the coronavirus, coronavirus pandemic, mode of transmission, preventions, symptoms, or uh, what can you do if you are infected, drugs and vaccine, and some of these speculations. So, here is a virus. So, a virus is a small infectious agent that is dormant or inactive when outside a body but becomes active and replicates only inside the living cells of an organism thus causing symptoms so basically a virus is a non-living organism when it is outside the body of a living organism by some route if it enters the body it uses the the sources of the organism's body to multiplicate itself and in the process of multiplicating itself it may cause harm to the body and uh, usually it causes harm to the body that's the concept of the virus but remember that if the virus is out of the uh, body it doesn't mean that the virus is dead it is just in a dormant state. Second is a coronavirus. Coronavirus is a basically a family of virus. Uh, first of which was the SARS COV uh, one, which affected the world in two thousand and three. Second was any RS virus that in fact affected the world in two thousand and twelve. And third is this coronavirus or COVID-19. It is also called SARS SARS COV COV-2 because its its uh, morphology or its structure is very similar to that of SARS virus. Okay, it has a positive stranded RNA and it is covered with a nucleocapsid. Okay. And remember that RNA viruses change their shape very quickly. So it's difficult to make vaccines for RNA viruses. Next is what is a pandemic? Okay, a pandemic is a disease epidemic that has spread across a large region, for instance, multiple continents or worldwide. So in this case, this picture shows the initial this is one of the initial pictures uh, when coronavirus was reported if you want to see the current picture of corona uh, virus i will give the link in the description below there is a side which uh, gives the numbers of uh, total cases total deaths and total population active patients all the data about coronavirus patients i will just link that side below in the description box okay what is the mode of transmission of coronavirus uh, one of the mode of transmission of coronavirus is through air droplets okay so if it if you are in vicinity of a patient which is affected by coronavirus like in one meter or three feet vicinity of a patient who is being affected by a coronavirus you will get the infection there is a high chance that you will get that infection so it is best that 
to keep away from the people who are sick next what are the preventions you can take okay first one is washing your hands so wash your hands with soap and water water for at least 20 seconds okay and do this every time you visit outside or after coughing after sneezing or after blowing your nose okay if you don't have a water or soap available then use a sanitizer with 60 percent alcohol solution to wash your hands second is you should just keep away from the patients who may be sick okay this is especially important for the areas who have high number of patients it's better for you to keep away from other people's keep a, at least one meter distance from other people's you never know if the other people may be infected okay third is that you wear a mask whenever you are going to visit a sick person okay not any simple mask is gonna work okay the n95 mask or r95 mask and there is a trick uh, where you can prepare masks masks at home I will link that below too okay so just uh, click on that link and uh, you will be able to uh, learn five methods by which you can um, make the mask or uh, protect you yourself from being getting infected fourth one is disinfecting the surfaces we, you touch most like the door knobs the tables the laptop these instruments should be uh, should be sanitized with a solution that contains at least 70 percent alcohol one good example of this is st sterilium it is a solution which is from a german company I highly recommend it we usually use this in our hospital settings and it has given us excellent results okay next is what are the symptoms okay so the symptoms or the initial symptoms which can appear it the symptoms are fever cough and shortness of breath okay so these can appear anywhere between 2 to 14 days after you receive the virus okay but these symptoms don't mean that you have coronavirus okay that's the most important thing like a lot of people a lot of patients ask me i have fever i have cough do I have i have coronavirus no fever cough and shortness of breath I just mean that you are sick it may be a tonsillitis it may be a sore throat it may be a just a bacterial infection it may be a influenza flu okay it may be a pneumonia from another organism so you must not worry that these symptoms mean that you have got coronavirus okay only 2% of the patients currently out of 100% okay so out of 100% we are testing for coronavirus 2% of patients are being tested positive okay keep in that uh, keep that in mind so if you have these symptoms these symptoms by the way are called mild symptoms what fever cough and shortness of breath what should you do okay you should wear a mask okay you don't want your family members to get the virus if you have one okay or even if you have an influenza virus you don't want uh, your children or your wife or your family members to get the virus second one is home isolation what is home isolation home isolation is like isolating yourself in a room your room and j 
just keeping your towels your clothes your utensils away from other members of the house uh, so that they go, don't get infection third point is eat healthy food this is a very 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 important point you need antioxidants you need green leafy vegetables you need vitamins you need omega 3 uh, uh you need omega 6 okay you need these things to fight off the infections please eat healthy food don't eat junk food if you are sick fourth one is wash hands frequently why i'm saying that okay so if you are sick you are going to be coughing a lot okay if you cough just put your elbow before your mouth okay and then wash the elbow and your hands why i am saying that you don't want to get the infection again and again from your hands okay whenever you cough whenever you sneeze whenever you blow your nose or you have a runny nose and you clear it just make sure to wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds or 60% alcohol solution sanitizer okay fifth one is watch for warning signs what are the warning signs trouble in breathing okay don't confuse it with shortness of breath shortness of breath means that you are breathing fast okay trouble breathing is totally a different thing it means dyspnea in medical terminology it means that you are a there is air hunger in you like you are feeling the that you are fainting away okay your body needs more air why this happens because the virus has reached your lung okay so your lungs are not working to 100% of their capacity so the need your body needs more air so so this is called trouble breathing persistent pain or pressure in the chest again due to pneumonia you will have this sign third is new confusion or inability to arouse this is due to the low level of oxygen in your blood because you have a pneumonia from this virus your body lungs are not working up to the mark okay so that's why you are confused your brain is not getting the level of oxygen it requires okay so it can't function properly bluish lips or face this is a s- sign we call cyanosis okay S- peripheral cyanosis like your lips and your ear tips will become blue this means that your oxygen in your blood has fallen to a dangerously low level if this happen go to number 6 step contact your doctor keep in contact with the doctor okay just tell him daily what you are feeling okay remind him that these are my symptoms tell him if even a a new symptom appears okay and seventh one is you can take symptomatic medications like if a person falls ill most of them just forget to take acetaminophen for fever okay like fever usually raises the body temperature so if your body temperature is raised a lot of fluid is evaporated to cool on your body so take acetaminophen for the fever take a lot of fluids okay if you need oxygen if your lungs are not uh, functioning to the level ex- expected level then you must also take medicine these are steps that you must take for 
home mild symptom okay next when to end home isolation this is very 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 important okay i'm not talking about the warning signs if you have the warning signs that i just discussed in the previous slide you must get admitted in a hospital okay these are the signs of in of danger okay this slide shows the home isolation ending okay you must have no fever in the last three days no fever for 72 hours without medication very 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 important you are not taking any acetaminophen for fever for three days and you don't have fever for 72 hours second point the cough and shortness of breath like your respiratory rate we okay the number of times you breathe it's usually around 16 to 18 times it is back to normal okay or it is close to normal okay second point third point two tests 24 hours apart they may be PCR or they may be kit test okay they may be PCR they may be coronavirus kit test taken 24 hours apart if they are negative you can and you fill all uh, the above two point you can terminate your home's isolation okay if you don't have the facility of PCR or corona kit test facility available then second point of the, the second uh, point applies seven days have passed since your first symptom appeared like it has been seven days since the fever first appeared if all of these three points are fulfilled you can terminate your home isolation next these are some of the drugs which are being tested for the treatment of coronavirus first one of them is remdesivir okay it is an antiviral drug okay it was mainly the violent developed for Ebola virus it is and it is being tested uh, in two studies I believe in America it is under testing phase okay second one has been chloroquine phosphate okay uh, recently uh, President Trump uh, gave the order that they are going to use an anti-malarial drug to um, treat the patients of coronavirus China has used chloroquine for four to ten days to treat the patients of coronavirus and in the those studies that Chinese have conducted a lot of people have recovered by using this drug what does this drug do this drug basically changes the pH of the cells okay if the pH of the cells is changed the virus multiplication rates is disturbed okay so your body immunity kicks up and it can then fight the germs or viruses away third is the combination of lopinavir and ritonavir the combination of this drug was under uh, trial in america for the treatment of hiv patients okay so the combination of these two drugs uh, are also being studied in one uh, i believe one study is being conducted on these two drug combination of these two drug fourth one is apno1 okay so coronavirus basically 
has a spike protein that attaches to the uh, ACE2, which is known as angiotensin converting enzyme 2 receptor on the cells. So, APNO1 is a, a drug that binds to the same receptor by binding to the same receptor okay it occupies the space so the coronavirus cannot uh, bind to that receptor the binding of APNO1 is very strong to the ACE receptors and uh, if coronavirus attaches to the same receptor it tries to attach to the same receptor APNO1 is already there so it can't enter into the cell fifth one is favilavir okay it is an anti-inflammatory drug which is used for the inflammation of the lungs okay it is basically it is uh, there are plans to conduct trials uh, on these drug in America it uh, is it was a drug basically developed to reduce the symptoms of pneumonia okay to de reduce the inflammatory symptoms okay but no study has been started since uh, till now okay and now I will update you about the vaccine status two vaccines are being tried in China three vaccines are being prototype vaccines are being tried in Russia and two vaccines prototypes are being tried in Germany but remember this vaccines take a lot of time they take about 18 months mean average time to get the results okay so don't expect anything that it will happen in days it will take time vaccines for coronavirus will take time okay now the 10th slide i have added is to address some of the speculations which are going around like wearing a simple mask can protect you from covid 19 coronavirus that's totally false okay like the mask which can protect you are n95 mask okay and they work for like four to six hours in some cases three hours if the viral load is high and they are only available in hospital for the working staff who are treating the patients wearing a regular simple mask will not protect you from the, this virus drinking hot fluid kills this virus so there was a uh, study being conducted in china i don't know why they conducted this study that this virus is killed at 29 degrees centigrade but my argument is that in australia and new zealand it's summer the temperature is supposed to be above 30 degrees centigrade but still there are cases in Australia and New Zealand so drinking hot fluids will not kill this virus okay keep this in mind and mind you viruses can't be killed they just become inactive drinking water frequently makes virus go to stomach and killed okay uh, I mean this is a statement which is a little tricky like I can't call the statement totally wrong but it seems like uh, this is a fabrication okay like mm, if you have a flu you don't drink a lot of water so that the virus goes into your uh, stomach and gets killed okay some of the virus are going to escape and get into your lungs that's the problem with it so this third one is also a speculation fourth one is it cannot kill young people totally wrong okay 
there are a lot of pe young people on steroids who have a in weak immune system who are on uh, interferons who are on immunosuppressants or whose immunity is not up to the mark they are being killed by this virus okay so this is just a false myth and the last one is pandemic will end in summer i have already told you the reason this speculation came from the idea that this a virus becomes kill kill at a temperature of 29 degrees centigrade okay but so that's why they think that when summer come the virus will be killed but this is not going to happen okay just keep that in mind so thank you for watching this video if you have any questions be free to ask okay uh this was a video which i made so that you can uh, get the picture of uh, coronavirus okay i have a playlist of three videos which talks about coronavirus in detail if you want to listen to them i will leave a card above okay and uh, just listen to that card uh to listen to that playlist i'm saying the card and uh, i would love if you subscribe to my channel and leave comments and really i will appreciate uh you watching the uh, this video and uh, again i repeat if you want to study deep into the coronavirus stuff just study i will leave a card above just click on it it will take you to the playlist where you can study all about coronavirus that playlist consists up of three videos okay hope this video answers most of your questions if you have more questions just ask me questions i am open for questions any time thank you and do take care of yourself and people around you